It's just that you haven't spoken to me in years. Unless it's been to call me faggot or dislocate my shoulder and all of a sudden get a stream of conscious monologue about your dead dog while I'm trying to spend the only few moments of my day that don't truly suck. Please don't hit me, but I could give two shits about you or your dead dog or your morbid curiosities or your vacant mind, so why don't you just go? And according to my doctor, you did dislocate my shoulder last spring in shout class when you twisted my arm behind my back and told me that you wouldn't let go until I said, and I quote, I like to take it up the ass. <laughs> I definitely recall hearing laughter now. Through all the tears and the screaming and the pain, I definitely recall hearing laughter so glad I could contribute to the fun of the group. Fuck you, CB. It would be so much better if you said that we want to beat the shit out of you than for you to just, for you to say that you were just teasing or messing with me. Because that implies slightly appropriate behavior. I haven't had lunch in the cafeteria in, in two and a half years for fear that I would go home with some part of it smeared across my shirt. I, I haven't been able to go to the bathroom since the time I got my head slammed into the stall. I believe you were there. And the fact that you just stand there and say nothing makes it so much worse. <laughs> so please, just go.